the classic artists of the rock genre, who do we usually think of? Generally, we think of artists such as Elvis Presley, the Beatles, and Nirvana. We usually associate these artists as being the pioneers of the rock genre. But did you know that a lot of these artists were directly influenced by black artists? Uh, today I will help inform about the black artists that helped shape and the style and sound of rock and roll music. Uh, this is to help recognize that the rock and roll genre is not exclusively white people music and that there's actually a great racial diversity to the genre. Um, my name is Ben and I will talk about the black artists of the past 20th century uh, and how they shaped uh, rock and roll. Uh, next slide. So starting off, I'm going to start with one of the earliest artists of the genre, uh, Sister Rosetta Tharp. Uh, Sister Rosetta Tharp was a gospel blues singer from the 1940s. Uh, she has been cited as inspiration from artists such as Johnny Cash, Bob Dylan, and Chuck Berry. Um, she toured throughout the 40s at popular New York, New York hotspots like the Apollo Theater. Now, while having great influence over her popular successors, her influence has gone greatly underappreciated, and she's only just recently been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as of 2018. Now, there aren't many archival clips of her performances at popular locations compared to some other rock artists at the time, but the ones that do exist showcase her charming personality and her loud guitar solos that have become a trademark sound of the rock and roll genre. Next slide. So transitioning now, um, we've talked about the earliest beginning of the rock genre. Now let's talk about the stylistic origins of the charm and lighthearted attitude of rock and roll. Uh, one of the biggest outbreaks of the stylistic artists of the time is in the 50s uh, rockabilly era. It's a subgenre derived from blue artists such as Sister Rosetta Tharp herself. Uh, this is generally associated with artists such as Elvis Presley, and while he did definitely bring the genre into the spotlight with a wide audience, it was mainly populated by many black artists such as Little Richard, Bo Diddley, and Chuck Berry, who performed the iconic song Johnny Be Good. Um, Chuck Berry would even go on to inspire bands such as the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Even John Lennon himself has said that the Beatles wouldn't exist without the music of Chuck Berry. Uh, next slide. So while Blackerbilly was definitely the beginning of the stylistic charm of rock and roll, uh, its energy and flair got pumped up in the 60s. Um, one of the best examples of this, of the late 60s flair and showmanship, is with Jimi Hendrix. In his early career, he um, played as a backup guitarist for the classic rock Billy artists such as Little Richard. In 1966, he moved to London to start his own career, and he um, formed the band The Jimi Hendrix Experience with two of his friends. Um, their song, Hey Joe, would later go on to create popularity in the States. In 1969, after leaving the band and starting his solo career, his popularity would grow after the success of Hey Joe at his performance at uh, the Woodstock Festival of 69. Next slide. Uh, while Hendrix's legacy starts with his hardcore flair, for example, setting his guitar on fire at the Monterey Pop Festival, his inspiration would go on to um, inspire the early 90s artists of the Grunge Awakening in his hometown of Seattle. The 90s were a time of angsty vocals and muddy rhythm that would create the fame of you know, white rockers such as Kurt Cobain of Nirvana and Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam. But even before those artists, it was pioneered by the band Bam Bam, um, led by the vocalist Tina Bell. 
uh, Tina Bell's sound and attitude would help form um, what would later become grunge um, in the early 90s. Uh, many of the band's members would go on to join um, other you know, popular bands of that genre. Even Kurt Cobain of Nirvana was a roadie uh, for that band before Nirvana ever came into inception. Um, even the bassist for that band has said that he would see him on the sidelines just absolutely enthralled by the music that would go on. However, even with the band's influence over uh, the famous artists and bands of that genre, Tina Bell's influence went ultimately undervalued by the Seattle rock community and industry music labels of that time because of cultural racism and sexism, unfortunately. And she never reached the same level of fame as her popular successors. Next slide. In conclusion, these are the black artists that helped pioneer rock and roll. You now have a better understanding of the footprints left by black artists in the rock and roll genre and now understand that while there are many popular um, white artists in the genre, it is not exclusively white people music. So next time you're thinking of checking out the classic tunes of years past, Maybe give these artists a listen to. Thank you.